Cuban people were recently able to enjoy Wi-Fi service at 35 public spaces in several of the island state cities which have been long isolated by the United States with a trade embargo. Me parece muy buena, es una opción que podríamos haber tenido hace un poco de tiempo atrás y la considero muy buena para que todos nos podamos comunicar. The state-owned telecommunication operator Ectexa started offering the service last Wednesday, costing two US dollars per hour of browsing. This is still a costly service, as the average Cuban earns 30 US dollars each month. Pienso que es una oportunidad que se le está dando sobre todo a los jóvenes eh, con respecto a abrirse un poquito más y a tener un poco más información acerca del mundo. The spots with Wi-Fi service were buzzing, especially with young people on their smartphones, tablets and laptops. He entrado a varias páginas, he revisado Facebook, Twitter, YouTube y todo está bien. Atexa is now studying the possibility of implementing a household Wi-Fi service, but has mentioned no certain date. In 2013, only 3.4% of Cuban homes had an internet connection. This is one of the lowest in the world, according to the International Union of Telecommunications.